What's up everybody, King of Homo here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. Make sure if you guys haven't come to my website, kingofomo.com, go over there. Um, I'm also doing altcoin alerts that's going to be in the description below and in here as well if you guys want to learn more about these coins when they launch as soon as I'm staying on top of them. So let's talk about Anti-Ample. Um, so Anti-Ample is another experimental coin, obviously. And uh, it works a, it works in an interesting way rather than just cloning the Ample Forth uh, contract code and putting it out there and changing a number or two what they're doing with this one is they are actually making it an only a decreasing supply only type of coin so the supply will not increase if you guys don't know how ample forth works uh, if if the market cap goes up you start to get more supply if the market cap goes down you get less supply and the coins in your wallet actually increase and decrease depending on how the market moves so that it stabilizes at one dollar that's kind of the theoretical way that the ample forth is supposed to work but anti ample is a little bit different as to where they're always decreasing the supply so this can actually it's, it's going to be interesting so this can be double good or double bad uh due to the fact of, of about the way that that supply and demand works so uh to get you guys to sort of understand why decreasing supply can be a good thing i'm going to use some analogies here so essentially it's, it works like this if you buy a hundred dollars worth of these these anti-ample tokens over time uh, you know in, in 20 every 24 hour period a rebase happens and your supply will decrease so if you have a hundred tokens those tokens will go down to 99 tokens or 96 or 95 tokens depending on the what the rebase was so it's going to be anywhere from zero percent to whatever the percentage is depending on the price difference of anti-ample i have to look into how the price difference determines the percentage but it's going to be zero percent or higher is how much your your supply goes down or how much you own goes down so a lot of people are sitting here thinking well this coin sucks why would i want to buy this coin if every day i'm going to own less and less of it well that's where it gets interesting so you can say well i'll just buy tomorrow after the rebase happens when everybody loses their coins but theoretically the way that supply and demand works if everybody loses coins, then the demand should go up and they should be worth more the next day. So imagine it this way. If everybody in your city was given $100 to spend and every single day the government would take away you know, 2 or $3 of that $100, that $100 is going to get you the same amount of stuff every day, except there's going to be much more demand for it because people are having less and less money to be able to spend with. So if if you're playing your cards right do you want to be a person that starts out with a hundred dollars and has that go down or do you want to be a person that starts out with a thousand dollars and has that go down or do you want to be the person that looks for money later on when it has a much much higher demand because the supply has decreased so much it's going to be a lot harder to find and uh, the price theoretically should go up even more for the average dollar or the average anti-ample so that's the way that this works now of course like i said this could be double bad as well if there isn't a demand for whatever reason and the supply also goes down then that like just the way that i'm thinking about it it means like the coin is almost completely worthless and will dump probably twice as fast and twice as hard as what ample forth kind of is doing a dump right now because your supply what you own is going down and the value of what you own is also going down it's double bad and nobody wants to hold those types of bags so it's going to be an interesting experiment obviously i didn't break the bank on it but if this does kind of work similarly to what Ampleforth d d does, and if the experiment is a success, then what should happen is over time, the supply or what you have in your wallet should go down, but the price should go up over time. We will see, of course. Usually things do not work out exactly as we expect them to. So it's anti-ample. Um, I'll have some links in my website uh, as well as, well, we'll see in the description. But that's everything for today, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.